friends, my name is Laura Lowe and today I'm going to help you learn about chords. Chords are an important part of our musical language and I want you all to become chord experts. So let's get started. There are a couple of things you need to know before we begin. You need to know what a half step is because I'm going to be using that term quite a lot. You also need to know what I mean when I refer to the intervals of a third or a fifth. Maybe I'll do another video about musical intervals, but for the sake of this video, you need to already have that knowledge on board. So if you need to go brush up on those things, now's a good time to do it. Okay, a chord is nothing more than several notes played all at the same time. They come in a lot of flavors. We have major chords, minor chords, augmented chords, diminished chords, seventh chords, and those seventh chords can be major or minor or diminished. And then we have ninth chords and they can be major or minor or diminished. And then we have 13th chords and chords can get kind of complicated. But we're gonna start at the very beginning today, a very good place to start, and limit ourselves to talking about major chords. Chords are based on a triad. That might be a new word to you. T-R-I-A-D, triad. Can you think of another word that starts with T-R-I? Maybe you're thinking of a triangle, which has three sides, or a tricycle, which has three wheels. I bet you're starting to catch on to the idea that triad has something to do with three, and you'd be right, because a triad has three notes. Here's a triad in root position. Now, all, always, uh, we're not always going to be in root position, so don't be too attached to it, but for today, we're sticking with root position. In this position, our three notes are stacked up in thirds like a snowman. All of these are on the lines of the staff, but they could also be in the spaces of the staff. We give names to each of the notes. The lowest one is called the root, and that's also the name of the chord. This is a C major chord or a C major triad. The middle note is the third of the chord. It's a third above the root. So in this case, the third of the chord is an E, and E is a third above C. The top note of the chord we call the fifth of the chord. It's a fifth above the root. G is a fifth above C. If this were a G chord, the lowest note would be G, the third of the chord would be B, and the fifth of the chord would be D. So there you go. That's what a triad looks like on the staff. Another thing that's important to remember is that triads are made by uh, using skips in the alphabet. So if our root is a C, we have to skip over D. Our third will be an E. We have to skip over F. Our fifth will be a G. We always skip over just one alphabet letter. So for instance, if we were going to build a D chord, you don't know yet why the F has to be sharp, but we do have to call it an F sharp and not a G flat because we have to have skips through the alphabet. D, skip over E, some kind of F, skip over G, A. So there's a D major triad or a D major chord. Let's go to the piano. So here we are at the piano and you can see that um, I've done some modification here to uh, be able to wipe down the finish on my piano with a disinfecting wipe without having to actually wipe the black lacquer finish. This is washi tape and this is foam board uh, covered with contact paper. So September of 2020, this is what we do. So let's talk now about major chords. We've been playing a Lego game in my studio to build major chords. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we're doing that, how we find them with Legos. There are two ways I'm teaching my students to build major chords. And one is this quick visual way using the Legos. And the other way is for students who know scales and key signatures. We need to know both ways, but right now we're going to start with the quick visual way. And I'll do a separate video for the other way. If I give you the chord root, and we'll just build a chord first on C major. If I tell you the root of the chord is C, then 
An easy way to find the other chord members is to skip over three half steps. And I'm using my red Legos to show the three half steps that we skip over. See, up a half step, up a half step, up a half step. And then the fourth half step is my next chord tone. Now I'm going to skip over two half steps. I'm using my yellow Legos to show those two half steps. And the following key, the next key, is my chord tone. So I have C, skip over three, E, skip over two, G, C, E, G, C major chord. So this method, uh, some people call this method the three plus two method of finding a major chord. Skip three and then skip two. Let's do another one. Let's just take these away, if I can do that without messing them up. Let's say we're going to build a chord on A. We're going to have an A major chord. So here's my A, and now I have a Lego on the floor. <laughs> this is the hazard of doing this with Legos. I'm going to skip these three half steps. So A, up a half step, up a half step, up a half step. Our next chord tone is going to be a black key. Now we're gonna skip two half steps. And our next chord tone is the E. So we have A, C sharp, E. Let's take the spacers out and you can see it as just the chord. Great, let's do one on a black key. Let's do it starting on E flat. So skip over, skip over. Skip over, there's the next chord tone. Skip over, skip over, and here's the next chord tone. Look, that one's also on a black key. So E flat, G, B flat. That's an E flat major chord. So quickly, let's do a little review. A triad is three notes stacked on top of each other by thirds. We name those notes. The bottom one is the root, the middle one is the third, the top one is the fifth. We can find quickly a major chord on the keys with the three plus two method. Chord tone, skip over three. Chord tone, skip over two chord tone. There's a D major chord. All right, so go and find root position major chords all over your piano and stay tuned for the next video.